question came up over on the Quora website. Is it possible to patent an improvement of another invention? And the answer is yes. We'll talk about it on this video. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. This is really a great question because the whole point of the patent system is to incentivize us to keep improving on inventions. When we take the time to write down our invention and submit it to the patent office, the patent office in exchange gives us a limited 20 year monopoly to exclude others from making, using and selling our invention. We call this exclusionary monopoly a patent. Now there's something really important about this limited monopoly that we have to keep in mind. It's only a monopoly to stop others. I don't have the right to build the invention myself because I might be infringing on other people's patents, but I can only keep others from practicing my invention, from making, using, and selling my invention. Let's say I'm a bicycle manufacturer and I invent something new on the bicycle. Let's say a new sprocket for the bicycle. I can keep others from making a bicycle with sprockets, but I myself might not be able to build a bicycle with sprockets if someone else owns the patent on the wheel. So I have the right to stop others from practicing my invention, but I might have to get permission from other people if my inventions include components or parts that are patented by others. Now the requirements for patentability are that my invention must be new, it must be useful, and it must be non-obvious. Now newness or novelty refers to how long the public has known about it. Generally speaking, we wanna get our patents on file as quickly as possible, but we must file our patent applications within 12 months of the first public disclosure or the publication or the first use in public. So newness refers to that 12 month novelty window. The second requirement is that the invention must be useful and most inventions are useful. And then finally, it must be non-obvious. The improvement that we make can't be just an obvious improvement. For example, my sprocket, my bicycle sprocket, it seems like a fairly non-obvious improvement to a bicycle. But how about if I put handlebar streamers on the bicycle? Are handlebar streamers non-obvious? Are they useful? Well, I would argue that handlebar streamers bring me a lot of joy. I love handlebar streamers. Aside from the novelty function, you also provide additional awareness for people around you as you're riding down the street and your streamers are flying in the air. It brings more attention to the bicycle and it makes the bicycle safer to ride. But what about adding just a sticker to the bicycle? Well, the sticker might be more obvious. A sticker has a known utility no matter what you put it on. It's not creating any new functionality for the bicycle, different from the functionality that you would expect. So adding a sticker to the bicycle might not rise to the level of non-obviousness that we would need for patentability. So to recap, yes, improvements are patentable so long as they're new, useful, and non-obvious. Hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, you'll also like this next video. I'll see you over there.